form out there. The first thing we're going to do is have a look at all the different kinds of funnels there are to choose from, and then we'll plan our own. As you can see, there's no shortage of types of funnels you can build. We've got invisible funnels, which consist of content being delivered first and then asking for payment on the next page if they liked it. Not many have heard of that one. We've got video sales letter funnels that are heavily reliant on sales videos. We've got lead magnet funnels where you're offering something for free in return for an email opt-in. We've got reverse squeeze page funnels which deliver content first and then ask for an email opt-in, yet another unique type. We've got the two-step tripwire that allows you to pitch a low ticket offer followed by upsells. We've got the bridge funnel where you collect a lead and then move them onto another funnel like an affiliate offer. We've got a sales letter funnel, a more traditional funnel consisting of long form sales pages. We've got auto webinar and live webinar registration and attendance funnels, great if you're selling high ticket items. We've got hero funnels that really stress your personal brand. Survey funnels where you can learn more about your visitors and then redirect them to an offer based on their answers. Ask campaign funnels, a trending type that helps you figure out what your audience wants. Homepage funnels, which are meant to sort of mimic the role of traditional websites, but funnel people into your offers. Application funnels are great for qualifying potential coaching or high ticket service clients. Daily deal funnels are all about getting new customers with irresistible offers. Membership funnels designed to sell products and get people into your members areas. The product launch funnel, a series of video pages designed to prep people for a big launch by the end, pioneered by Jeff Walker of course. Live demo funnels are great for showcasing and demoing your products or services. Storefront funnels designed to mimic the look and feel of an e-commerce store before funneling people through to your core offers. Summit funnels, perfect for getting big names together in one online event. Cancellation funnels, a great way to try and keep people from jumping ship as well as learning why they wanted to. And the squeeze page funnel, an opt-in funnel that leverages the power of ultra minimalism and curiosity to get opt-ins. Now if you're overwhelmed, don't worry, you don't need to worry about the vast majority of these yet. If you're just starting out with funnels or just starting out with business online in general, there's only a handful you really need to worry about. At the end of the day, it depends on what you have and how you want to give it to the world. So, do you have a book? An ebook? Do you have a video course? Do you have knowledge that could easily be turned into a book or a video course? Do you have a high ticket offer that you want to sell via a long webinar presentation? Of the things you have, do you want to give one of them away for free for the sake of lead generation? Which one? For our purposes, I think we'll say we're going after the most accessible and common scenario. We have a free gift and we have a product we want to charge money for. Now for that type of funnel, I'm actually going to click up here on Classic Funnel Builder. I'll click Sell My Product and I'll choose the good old fashioned sales funnel. I'll give it a name and I'll hit Build Funnel. But before we actually get into that, before we start designing the funnel, we need to start figuring out of the things we have, what do we want to give away for free and what do we want to sell? That's all part of crafting and splintering, which is what we're going to cover in the next module. Guys, so this is going to be a little bit on the fly. There's a lot of brainstorming going on here. We're taking stock of what we have, and we want to figure out how we can craft an offer or a funnel of multiple offers based on what we have at our disposal. You have to get a little bit creative here sometimes. In our case, we want one thing to give away and one thing to sell. We've got a bunch of ebooks here that cover several topics product launches, team management, low cost startup. We've got video courses here, which have high perceived value and would likely be a good thing to sell at a low to mid ticket price as our uh, upsell after somebody opts in. We've also got a few miscellaneous things here that we've categorized as other. Landing page templates. Those can be useful. People might pay for those. That also might be something good to give away for free as a lead magnet. Sales page critiques, that's a good one, a valuable one, sort of a one-on-one -on -one thing, so that's probably something we would charge a premium price for. Same thing with coaching. Now this is what we've got at our disposal, 
And one thing that I happen to have right here on my hard drive is this one right here. A video course called High Level Mastermind. Now I'll actually pull that onto this slide down here just so we can see it and visualize it. And it is exactly what it says, okay? It's a long video course that talks about higher level strategies that can sort of take your business to the next level. It's a very useful video course. Now here's the question. Do we have to go into our bag of things and find a lower ticket item to give away for free that is relevant? We probably could. I mean, some of these might be relevant, or we could go out and buy or license something else. However, I remember that this one includes a little PDF guide that sort of outlines the course and sort of hits the main points. Now, it's not advertised here as part of it. It's sort of just a afterthought, I guess. However, it is a useful PDF guide. So the question is, do we need to necessarily, in order to craft an offer for this funnel, okay, a two-part offer, something for free and something to sell, do we need to necessarily go and grab something else to add to this, or can we do something called splintering? If we already have a component of this offer that is relevant to this offer, would it be better to take that component out and stick it here as the entry point, as the free giveaway? In many cases, Yes, and that is called product splintering or offer splintering. Now, we don't have a way to advertise that PDF. So what we're going to do is get a little bit creative here, and we're going to create an e-cover, okay, so that we actually have something to put on our sales page in our funnel that makes it look kind of nice. So let's come on over here to myecovermaker.com, great tool for creating graphics to give your uh, info product sort of a tangible feel. And we're going to grab this iPad right here. It's always good for representing uh, ebooks and PDFs. And let's go ahead and search images. And let's look for entrepreneur. All right. A couple of good ones here. I like this one with a guy writing something on a whiteboard. That sounds sort of mastermindish, doesn't it? Right, so we'll get that situated there. Actually, it might make that a little bit smaller. And then let's put a title up top. And let's just sort of call it something similar, okay? It doesn't have to be the exact same title. But we'll call it uh, High Level Strategies. Resize that a little bit, and that looks fine. Okay, that looks like a good ebook or a good uh, free report to give away. We'll click finalize. We'll give it a couple of moments to uh, render that, and there you go. That's not a bad looking ebook or a bad looking PDF. Okay, we probably could have made it look a little bit prettier. Okay, um, this could be a little bit more flush, I guess, <laughs> but you get the idea. Okay, we took something that already exists within the assets that we have within the offer, the main core thing that we we're going to sell. We took a component and we splintered it away from it and made it sort of its own self-sufficient thing, okay? And we're going to utilize this. Let's go ahead and download this uh, .png file. We're going to utilize this in our funnel. Let's come back over here. Drag this right in here just to be able to visualize what we're talking about. What we're going to end up doing is sending traffic to an entry point where we offer this for free okay after we offer that for free we're going to send them to this where we charge a certain price we haven't decided yet for this video course okay what we collected here when we gave this away for free however was emails okay so we're going to be sending people into a sequence of automated emails presumably It's one of the most basic funnels. So even if nobody buys the product that you end up selling here, at least you ended up getting a lead added to your email list, okay? So this is pretty much it, guys. This is what it comes down to when you're thinking about either crafting offers or splintering 
offers that you have into multiple components uh, that can make up various steps inside of a sales funnel. So now that we've got the idea, this is what we're going for, our free component and our paid component. Let's go ahead and take this, let's go back into ClickFunnels, and let's actually go through the funnel designing process where we actually create the pages and make this happen and come to life. Okay, so if you'll recall, a couple of lessons ago, we had just chosen a funnel type and hit the button Build My Funnel. Well, this is where we left off. We chose this basic sales funnel with a free offer at the entry point, followed by a sales page with a paid product. Now that we've finished crafting and splintering our offer, we can get started actually designing the pages. So first, we'll need to choose a template for our lead page. There's a ton of awesome ones here, but I'm kind of a minimalist guy. So I'm going to choose this simple one right here. All right, now that that's added to the funnel, we'll hit Edit Page. And right here, all we need to do is plug in our image and our copy. So let's click on this book here. I'll go ahead and delete that. I love this little arrow thing here, but I don't think it'll jive well with our e-cover. So I'm going to delete this as well. I'll click this plus button to add an element and I'll choose image then I'll click the image placeholder and I'll come over here and click on this image button over on the right and I'll grab our little ebook graphic that we made in the previous lesson Okay, so far so good. Now let's just add our copy a little bit. I'll double click the headline and let's replace that with this headline for our lead magnet. And we could use this subheadline here, but I don't think we'll need it, so I'll delete that as well. And I'd say we're all set. Let's hit save and then exit and move on to the next step. So our next step is our sales page. Now I don't have a lot of copy for a long-form sales letter nor do I have a video. So I'm going to jump down to the bottom and select this nice short form minimalist one. Now that that's loaded into our funnel I'll hit edit page and the first thing we'll do is we'll start replacing all of this copy. So I've got a few lines prepared here. I'll insert this one here. And this one here. And this one here. And this one down here. Next, I'll go ahead and start deleting some of the elements we don't need for the purpose of this example. This section, this paragraph can go, this paragraph, this top menu bar, and we'll go ahead and leave our friend Bill Newsom there and just pretend it's an actual quote from a real person. We'll click on our image placeholder here. We'll click the image button on the right. And we'll replace it with our main tabletop image. We'll do the same down here with this one. Click image button and double click this one and we'll do the same down here with this one click on it image button on the right and double click this one and the very last thing to do here is get our button ready I'll change the button text to buy now and for set action, 
we have to actually tell ClickFunnels what the button's going to do. Since the order form is the next hard-coded step in our funnel, we can literally just choose go to next step in funnel right down here. And we're all set. I'll hit save. And sometimes it'll ask you for SEO metadata, so I'll just paste whatever was last in the clipboard right here for now. And we'll hit exit. And let's come back to our funnel overview. The next step is the order form. We'll click here and select a template. There's tons of really good ones to choose from here. Um, I personally appreciate the old-fashioned skinny order form. So we'll choose that one. Once that's ready, we'll click Edit Page. And there's not really much to change on this one. I think I'll get rid of the logo. And we'll insert some new copy in this headline here. Now that item name says dynamically updated because it is. When we specify the product name elsewhere inside of ClickFunnels, it'll be updated and reflected on this form automatically. So there's really nothing else to do here. Let's hit save and exit. Next, we'll click on order confirmation. Once again, plenty of cool templates to choose from. I'm going to choose this blue mother funnel one here. And once that's added, we'll click Edit Page. And really, the only thing to do here on this one is delete this logo. This is where people can see a confirmation of what they just bought, and there's an Access Purchase link, which will take them to the Thank You page, which is the last step in the funnel. So let's click Save and Exit. And finally, Let's click on Thank You page. Now this is the final step, and it'll usually include a download link or a registration page or something like that. We'll use this blue Thanks Check Your Email one down here on the left. We'll click Edit Page. And this is pretty much good to go as is. I'll just delete this one extra line here because I don't have any copy for that and I don't think we need any. And then we'll need to tell ClickFunnels what we want this button to do. So we'll click Set Action. And we would just put the access URL here, whether it be a direct download link or a registration form for people to create a login to access a members area or anything like that. I'm just going to put ClickFunnels.com here for grins. Let's hit Save and exit one final time and there you have it we've just created our entire sales funnel from entry point which was a free offer through a sales page for a paid offer and then the order form order confirmation and thank you page where we can finally deliver that product to our new customers and when we're ready to send traffic into this we'll just click on sales page which is the first page in our funnel,